This is vintage Heidi. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a sweet little angel uh, made out of paper doilies. I originally made this probably 30 years ago, and I actually did a lot of craft boutiques. And so um, this was one of the first things that I did for craft boutiques because they were so easy to do, and I could get um, a good amount of money for them. So let's take a look. For this project, you need four inch uh, paper lace doilies. They're available in the cake decorating department of your craft store. And we're going to take and cut for each skirt, we're going to cut in half. Now, I look at my doily and it has a pattern. I like this little pattern here, so I'm going to make sure that when I go to cut it in half, that I, that's going to be in the center of my dress. This is for her dress. I'm using the Aline's Original Tacky Glue in the gold bottle. And I'm just from the center to the outside edge, I'm putting my glue. If you take and spread it out a little bit, that way it won't uh, ripple the paper. And overlap it so that it matches the edge. And set that aside to dry. Next thing we're going to do is we have a 5 8 inch wooden bead. And I painted it with a flesh color or light pink. We're going to put hair onto the wooden bead. So when I put my needle onto my yarn, I'm going to come up through the bead and continue going in and out. And you need probably about a yard a yard of the yarn. In and out. until you have it completely covered like so. Now this little top piece, we cut off the bottom, this little top piece is going to be her braid. So you want to just trim it a little bit. Put a little bit of the Aleem's Tech Glue around this piece. And twist it to go into the glue area. Now I want to tuck this little edge into the back of the, the little bun there, so I'm going to trim it, put a little bit of glue, lift and just tuck that in. And there she has her little hairdo. Put a little bit of glue on the end of a toothpick. And stick that in the bottom hole. I'm going to trim this, oh, probably to about an inch and a quarter. And this is now going to go in the top of the uh, dress that we made. Now, if you had glued it where it's closed, then just trim it so that this um, toothpick can go in there. That one needs to be trimmed a little tiny bit more. Okay, on the inside along the seam, that, that seam's going to be in the back. I'm going to put a little bit of glue, and that's where the toothpick is going to go inside. 
put that aside to dry. And we'll work on our wings. From the other half that you cut, you're going to cut out your wings. And all they are is simply just, again, finding the pattern that you want. This particular one works really well because I can just cut the circle. Just kind of go along and cut the circle or the rounded edge. And then there's my wing. So you're going to need um, two little wings. And then I use this inside piece that's left over, cut it off, and these are going to be my sleeves. this in half and you might want to trim off some of that ex excess to make it where it's a little bit prettier edge. And put a little glue on the edge. And if I have too much again I don't want the, the paper to to ripple so I'm gonna have a little bit too much there. You're gonna fold that over you're not gluing the toothpick. The toothpick is just helping you to fold that sleeve edge to edge. And there you have one sleeve. So you want to make another sleeve, like so. So we're going to put, let's put her right there. And her sleeves are ready to put on. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. Right on the end, I'm going to make sure that her, her stick is in the back. Just put it at the side here. And the other one to the other side. And she has her sleeves and the wings that we cut for her we're going to cut off just a little bit just cut off the end, the tip end of them put glue on the end and put it right back behind her We need to put a face on her, and I'm just using a um, permanent liner or permanent pen, fine line. We're going to put a couple little dots for her eyes. And remember, always start smaller. And now she's happy. And to finish her up. We want to put a hanger on her, so I've tied a little piece of um, silver th uh, metallic thread. I have a knot down here at the end, and take it and push it through a needle. Come up through her hair. Put some glue right on that knot. Pull it up in there and let it dry. And the last thing we need to do is to put on a halo. I'm using a uh, lighting ring. It's one of the little novelty ones that you can find at your craft shop. And we're just simply going to put it at the back. If you need to, lift up a piece of the yarn the hair, stick that in, close it back, put some glue right on that place where it uh, parts, twist it, twist it, and then bring it over like that and let the glue dry. And there you have, let's get her 
finger, and there you have a, whoops, <laughs> a sweet little angel that wants to tumble. <laughs> there you have her, cute as can be. One for me, one for you. Two for me. Oh, none for you. I have my angels for my tree. <laughs> These will be fun to put on the tree this year. You know, not only are you, you don't have to just stay with white. There are wonderful uh, different size doilies in the silver and gold too, which would be really pretty on some trees. And of course, these are in the cake decorating department mm -hmm. at your local craft store. Right. And you can make these larger or smaller, depending on what size doily that you this start is, with. Like I said, this is a four inch, mm -hmm. and that's what I um, based these on. But um, I just love them. Now, did I say that? I don't know if you did, but you can say it again. I was going to say they're adorable, but I way have overused that word lately. But they are. They're really cute. So we love them and they're adorable.